Apparently it helped. McIntyre showed he could spin in the lane and find Muhammad Woney. He knocks down the jumper. McIntyre seven helpers. Clemson up 52-51. But Stephen Goolsby, kind of scary from three. Goolsby matched a career high with 15 points. Wake was up five. One point game, 205 left. Tony Rutland from long range three. Rutland with 12, wakes up four. 20 ticks left. Clemson's down two. McIntyre the steal. Feeds Woney, who loses the ball out of bounds, and Clemson falls to wake. That Tar Heel defense glove, glove tight. Vince Carter, the suffocating block. One of two he had the other way. Shimon Williams pulls up for the three. Straight butter. Part of an 8-0 run, Shimon 4-5 from three lane. Hey, Antoine Jameson, only one for three on his threes all year, but he said, he said, hey, if Shimon can do it, I can get busy too. Jameson finished with 20. Nothing could be finer than to show off in Carolina. Ed Cota behind his back. Carter behind his back. Jameson ripping stuff up. Tar Heels shot 56% for the game. Second half, more heels. Off the miss, Carter grabs the board. Don't hurt him, Vince. Vince, 22 points of nine of 14 shooting. Carolina led by as many as 31. Still, they played aggressive. Dakota, the steal. Ahead to Williams, Shaman, show you right. Coda had nine assists, Shaman 20 points. Tar Heels win it, 96 to 75. UNC won a state. Hey, there's Ryan Leaf in his 33 touchdown passes, but he's watching his team getting played. A.J. Bramlett, big up! Respect, men. Two of his 17. Washington State head coach Kevin Eastman. What's wrong with that car? I blow my hand. You know he's playing it off. You know it hurt. Hey, talking about breaking off a little something? Breaking off? Break? He broke his watch when he hit it. He hit the chair, broke his watch, lost the game. Arizona wins it 94 to 81. Mike, it's a dunk fest. I'm pulling out serious dunk catchphrases. Fat Mojo! Earl Watson off the backboard to Baron Davis. Hey, Bruin shot 61%, but you do that when you dunk like this. Davis, the freshman, mad ups in eight points. Later in the half, Bruins with the steal. Davis is going to go behind his back over the shoulder to Jelani McCoy. Davis! Ill. Davis, nine assists. McCoy, 12 points. Check it out again. Hey, McCoy took five shots, made five shots, but Steve, as I said again, when you dunk, you can do that. Seriously high percentage. Bruins wins in the past two years. First half, Matt Heldman misses the three. Jerry Hester is there. Put back. Hester finished with 20. Iowa would answer. Ryan Lurzman behind the back to Ricky Davis for the layup. Lon Kruger, come on, guys. Let's get in this game. Second half, Heldman with the steal all by himself the drive going hard to the hole draws the contact and the foul illinois wins 76 to six with one of his seven assists this one to gabe Ellis for the lay-in then david Tompkins moving without the ball which is always critical gets it down low for the lay-in and the foul Tompkins led yale with 18 points and six rebounds quick perimeter passing here Luellis. Hits the three-pointer. He led Princeton with 18 points and eight boards. Princeton rolling on to victory. The Tigers open their Ivy League schedule with home sellout in five years for FSU. And Steve Wojciechowski with a bad pass early. Terrell Baker to head to Randall Jackson for the jam. He had 18 points. Seminoles hanging early. But then Lamar Greer spinning and hanging and then banking through his 14 home. Part of an 8-0 run. That cuts the lead to three. And then Kerry Thompson. Falls down, but dishes to Kareem Shabazz, who lays it in and gets fouled. The lead cut to one, but he did miss the free throw. So next possession for Duke. Rashawn McLeod pulls up and knocks down the three. He was 10 of 17 from the field. Duke up by four. Then later in the half, Duke up by three when McLeod, feeling it, was three for five from behind the three-point arc. He had a career-high 25. And despite shooting just 28.1% from the field in the second half, Duke beat Florida State. The Seminoles' second straight loss to playing fundamental basketball. Antoine Jamison sets the pick for Ed Cota. Gets a back pick and then they convert on the easy alley-oop. Jamison had 26. Carolina up. Eight at the half. Then second half. Norman Nolan gets it inside. Look at the pump fake. And then somehow muscles it in. 29 points for him. Virginia gets to within five. But then Jamison gets a pick along the baseline. Cota throws up an alley-oop, but it goes right in the hoop for a three-pointer. Ten points and six assists for Cota. Then the Tar Heels decide to run. They force the turnover. Shimon Williams to Adamola Okalaja. And he will find Jamison for the easy hoop and the foul. Jamison, 9 of 12 from the field. 
And the Tar Heels won for the 33rd time in their last 34 games. North Carolina made 35 of 42 first taken on his arch rival BYU late in the first half. BYU thinking upset here when Brian Hamilton with the steal up ahead to Ron Solis for the jam. He had a game high 26 Cougars down three at the half. Then second half, Utah starts out hot. Andre Miller wide open for three. He had 11 points and seven assists. And then later, Hannah Medela with the shot. Michael Doliak though there for the rebound and the pretty reverse stick back to his 18 points. And then Doliak decides to dial long distance and oh, he gets the roll. It looked like it was gonna be a brick. He was five of 13 from the field, led the way with 18 points as Utah remains unbeaten. There's Lavin getting comfortable in Paul. First half, UCLA up 12, nothing, they're rolling. Chris Johnson at 18 in the game, finishes up with the left. UCLA up 14, nothing, Oregon's Ernie Kent not happy. Scary moment for UCLA. J.R. Henderson, the rebound, poked in the eye. That would affect him the rest of the game. Bruins up 16 at halftime as Henderson looks after his wound. Second half, here come the Ducks. Quack, quack. A.D. Smith was three of three from three-point land, 23 points. Oregon continues their assault. Henry Madden, six of 13, was Oregon overall as a team. Now, Ducks are up by two. Remember Henderson? He said after the game that he could barely see the basket on that hook after getting poked in the eye in the first half. We're tied at 66. So here's Oregon going for the win. They turn it over. Earl Watson, Baron Davis, up and in. UCLA by two. One more chance for Oregon. Two to tie, three to win. No. Jonathan Nelson does not get the roll. It's no good. Lavin is pumped. This panel, an ode to the Bruins seniors. They are now 91 and 19 since they arrived in West. Has lost at Washington for the last seven years. They come out firing Bibby. 23 to 9 Zona. Later, Bibby again. Pushing it real good. Pull up. 8 of 9 on the floor, 20 points. Michael Dickerson, been shooting well of late. His floater falls. 8 of 11 from the floor, 24 points. Arizona's other star gets involved. Simon says great pass to A.J. Bramlett, who had 10. Zona cruises a 201-point college basketball game. This is the third time Zona has surpassed 100 points. Good. 7 of 11 from the floor. He made that free throw after the foul. His only one, he had 16. Cal comes back. You know, Carlisle drives his shot up and in. He had 25, let everybody. Cal would cut it to five. Arthur Lee, Ryans with three. Squish. Stanford up by 12. They were 7 of 13 from behind the arc. High, low, good spacing place. Keith Van Ellswick with the hoop. Stanford improves to 14-0. Mike Montgomery's Cardinal win their school tying season against the Bulldogs. Second half game tied at 48. Tubby Smith's son. Saw his only shot of the game, a three. Richard Williams' Bulldogs down three. This state hangs in. Trey Moore. The steal will go the other way. And Chumba Wamba. Bulldogs down by three. Horatio Webster. Second three of the game. He had 18. Smith Wildcats lead only by one. Kentucky up by two. Three minutes ago. Watch Scott Padgett get ridden on from behind. He makes it. And Kentucky goes on to win. They out rebound Mississippi State by eight boards. They have out rebounded every of Pascaloosa, Ole Miss, and the tide. Anthony Boone leads with a knee injury. More on him in a moment. Second half, Alabama by three. Yes. Brian Williams to Demetrius Alexander almost lost that alley oop pass, but regained it and threw it home. Bama by five. Jason Smith, Jason Smith however, and Ole Miss is up by one with Ansu Cisse struggling in this game. Bama staying in the game, down by six. Smith had 12 points on the afternoon. Ole Miss up 64 50. In the first half, Chad Austin here will run down the loose ball and lay into it. His 21, Purdue by 13 at the half. And the second half was more of the same here. Jerron Cornell slicing through the lane and scores to his 20, part of a 20 to 6 Purdue run. And then more Boilermakers. Greg Mc Gary McQuay here flashes open the lane, then he will score it and draw the foul. He had six points, and the Boilermakers handed Houston its worst ever home loss. It was the State rivalry first half. Maceo Bastion picks up the loose ball, throws the no look pass to Tractor, who slams it with two seconds on the shot clock. He had 20. And then it's not Spartans and Wolverines without some trash talk. And Taylor, Trailer gets attacked for jawing with Morris Peterson. And then Michigan tough inside. Lewis Bullock misses the three, but Bastion there for the final. He had 23. 
And then the second half, Robbie Reed into Bacton, who slams it home. He was 8 of 13 from the field, and then the Spartans go on a run. Jason Klein for three. He had 17, and Tom Izzo likes it. But Michigan too tough inside. Reed misses the three. Trailer, the rebound, and the jam. The Spartans did not double team Trailer or Bashton inside, and it cost them. Five, Billy Thomas. Kansas setting up this play. Surfing the net. Eight of 11 from three point range. He had 27 NBA release. Second half, C. Bay McGrath say Kenny Gregory looking good on the alley oop. Ryder Cup captain Ben Crenshaw, three time national champion, golfer at Texas. With the meat clap. Texas might have been overmatched, but they played strong. And Wagner, that is a dunk for the ages. Ryan Robertson to Paul Pierce. Pierce took 20 shots. He made 11 of them, 31 points. Roy Williams sets a record for the most victories in the first 10 seasons of a D1 coach with 266. Billy Thomas, six for him. We pick it up in the second half. New Mexico down by four. Justin French drives, blocked by Kenny Thomas. We go the other way. Royce Olney will lay it in. 11 straight for only Lobos, who were, were down by two. Dave Bliss's squad down two with under 15 seconds to go. Kenny Thomas's three goes in and out. Lamont Lang, Long's laying no good. Thomas fouls Greg Sawyer. Sawyer made only one free throw. New Mexico's last chance down by three. Lamont Long's prayer. Not answered. Does not get the bank in New Mexico falls. Talk about the passion. There it is. It is a Wyoming victory. 58 to 55 is the seven. Kevin Betts comes around the pick. Matt Watts, a nice pass. 63 54, Aztecs on top. Now tempers flare. AC Carter fouls Jason Ricci on the drive. Carter gets into the face of Betts. Mika Kroger comes in and shoves Bettis. Kroger gets a tee and an ejection. Carter also gets a tee. The Aztecs cash in. They made all six free throws after that melee as they go on to win. 81 to 72. He did score 24 points, though. Second half, Jason Hart, one of his seven assists, and uh, to Eaton Thomas, who jams it down to his nine points. Syracuse would lead 64 57 after the three point play. Then the Cardinals fight back from long range. They're down by four when Cameron Murray from three got it. He was five of eight from behind the three point arc for 15 points, and Syracuse now responds. Ryan Blackwell kicks the ball to Marius Yanulius, and he cans his fifth three of the game. He had 15 points. He now has a three in at least his one three in his last 33 games as the Orange Minute. Matt Harpring, the talented Georgia Tech player, hits for three of his 23, 17 of those come in the second half, and we're tied at 54. And then moments later, Deion Glover strips Stephen Goolsby right there, and then he will go in for the jam reverse two of his 16 points, and Georgia Tech wins it, snapping a three-game losing streak to Wake Forest. Now, Maryland, North Carolina State, Maryland by three, with five seconds to go. Rodney Elliott at the line, misses his second straight free throw, that fails to put the game away for Maryland. So, Gary Williams almost panicking. 2.6 seconds left. A long pass to C.C. Harrison for the three. It would have tied it, but he comes up just a little bit short, and Maryland hangs on for the win. Elsewhere, Duquesne and Rhode Island. Catino Mobley left alone from the left wing. Dials long distance for the triple. Rhode Island by four at the half. And then the talented point guard, Tyson Wheeler, finds Mobley this time from inside. He had a game-high 24 as Rhode Island gets the win. Elsewhere, Steve Good. DC putting up a fight. Costas Maglos revoking shooting privileges and then chasing down the break. Dwayne Woodward leaves it for Maglos. He throws it home. BC up one. UConn up or down by six. Ricky Moore trying to get him back in it. Hits the floater, then jams his thumb and did not return. UConn down six at the half. UConn looking for a wake up call here. Now, Khalid El Amin's the only guy running lines all week. You know why? Knocks over Coach Calhoun. But then it was Richard Hamilton after that, knocking down everything. The three, top of the key. It's good. UConn takes the lead and takes it for good. And then Hamilton once again, he's the man, and UConn comes back to win it 80 to 68. Brandon going after the loose ball. Kid in red looking the wrong way. He gets slammed. He did come back later to cheer. Later in the first, Melvin Levitt, the helicopter, gets hip checked, going flying on his head. He's okay. Cincinnati up 28 18 at half. Marquette counting by ones. Marquette missing here. Aaron Hutchins missed. Others missed. More misses. And Cincinnati pushing it the other way. Michael Horton working it, driving, scoring. Cincinnati a winner, taking down the former number 20 team in the nation, the new East.